Hey everyone, welcome to Smart Farm Tech Channel. Did you know that California leads the grape industry? With an estimated production of 3.7 million tons in 2023, This video will guide you through the entire process of growing, caring for, blooming, harvesting, and processing grapes in California, one of the world's top grape-producing regions. You will see how 3.7 million tons of grapes are produced and learn how these juicy, sweet grapes are grown on such a large scale. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to catch more videos on agriculture and technology. Firstly, growing grapes in California requires careful planning. Farmers first choose soil with a pH of 6 to 8, ideal for grapevines. The grape growing area in the state can reach tens of thousands of hectares. Setting up a vineyard starts with preparing the soil, including testing pH and improving the soil if needed. An irrigation system, often drip irrigation, is installed to provide the right amount of moisture. Grapevines are planted in prepared holes with careful spacing between plants to allow room for growth. Planting is usually done in spring when temperatures are stable and the soil is warm, which helps the vines grow strong. Watch the video to learn more about setting up a vineyard and share your thoughts in the comments. Once the grapevines start growing, pruning is done in winter or early spring, about one to two years after planting. This helps remove weak or diseased branches, encourages new growth, and improves airflow. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to catch more videos on agriculture and technology. Caring for grapevines requires patience, including checking plant health and providing enough water and nutrients. The time from planting to the first harvest is usually three to four years. In spring, the vineyard becomes a vibrant carpet of flowers, with millions of tiny grape blossoms dancing in the breeze. The sweet fragrance of the flowers fills the air, creating a sense of peace and relaxation for anyone who visits. After the flowers bloom and are pollinated, grapes begin to develop from the small clusters of flowers. During this stage, farmers prune some of the leaves to increase sunlight exposure for the grapes, helping them ripen evenly and reducing the risk of disease. Leaf pruning also helps the vines focus their energy on fruit development rather than leaf growth. Additionally, farmers remove about 20 to 30% of the grape clusters on the vine. This allows the plant to concentrate nutrients on the remaining clusters, ensuring high-quality grapes. This pruning process is also an important part of maintaining the health of the vines and ensuring high grape yields in future harvests. The time from fruit development to harvest is about two to three months. Just looking at those grapes, I can already taste their sweet, refreshing flavor. Grapes can be harvested either by hand or using machines, depending on the type of grape and how they will be used. For example, table grapes, which are meant to be eaten fresh, 
are usually harvested by hand with great care to preserve their shape and quality. This means workers will carefully cut each cluster of grapes to avoid bruising. On the other hand, wine grapes are often harvested by machine, especially when speed and efficiency are needed. The machines can quickly strip the grapes from the vines, which is ideal for large-scale production. In 2023, California's grape production reached about 3.7 million tons, a truly impressive figure. The state is known not only for the quantity of grapes it produces, but also for their high quality. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to catch more videos on agriculture and technology. Some of the most famous grape varieties grown in California include Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, and Zinfandel, which are loved by wine enthusiasts worldwide. The processing of grapes varies depending on their intended use. Fresh grapes that are meant for direct sale and consumption go through a careful sorting process. Any grapes that don't meet quality standards are removed, and the rest are quickly packaged to keep them fresh and ready for market. Grapes destined for wine production, however, go through a much more complex process. They are crushed to release their juices, then fermented, and finally aged to develop their unique flavors. Curious about the differences between these methods? Want to learn more about how grapes go from vine to table or wine bottle? Watch the video to dive deeper into the fascinating world of grape harvesting and processing. We've covered each important step in growing, caring for, harvesting, and processing grapes in California. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.